Okay, students, in this video, we are looking to solve exponential equations and inequalities. And let's start this video by going over the uh, equation that you covered in the last section. Um, this is the annual rate uh, formula, which is y equals y is equal to uh, a times the sum of 1 and r to the t degree. A, remember A stands for the initial initial amount. Sometimes this is called the principal or the beginning amount. R stands for uh, rate in decimal form. Decimal and T stands for time in years. Okay, time in years. So just be aware that if the problem states six months, T will be 0.5. So this is what we call the annual annual rate uh, equation. Annual means just once a year. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll look at another equation where you have to do this more than once a year, and we call that compound inequality or compound uh, equation. So let's say for this problem here, we have an amount that you invest into an account. Let's say it's $5,000 that you invest and uh, they are going to pay you an annual rate of 6%, all right? Uh, you wanna know the amount that you will have, that's typically gonna be the Y, that's the amount, the current amount. The, so you wanna know the current amount Y after, after X years, okay? So let's come up with an equation that models this the situation. Y equals 5,000 times the sum of 1 and 0 0.06. 0 0.06 is the percent after X years. So that's what we have. Uh, let's just simplify this a bit more. 5,000 times 1.06 to the X degree. This will be your equation. Um, and we know it's going to be exponential. So let's, uh, let's see if we can graph it so it gives you an idea of what it looks like. Y is equal to 5,000. Let me just put that in my calculator, graphing calculator, um, to the x degree, to the x degree. All right, so let me just fix my settings. Uh, give me one second. It's a little small. It's, you can't really see it. Um, let's do I have to fix my windows guys let's do the window the y values make it 50 500,000 all right so it's hard to see but this is the actual equation that we have all right so the equation looks something like this all right, so this is the equation, and we can zoom in. Uh, we zoom into this equation. Remember uh, when we first started the year, uh, first year, or as soon as you started, you had five thousand dollars. All right, as as time progresses, the x-axis is the years axis. This is years, and this is the y-axis is the y, the amount you have. So. First year, 5,000, and so on. And the year, uh, let's say, close to 30 years, we have close to 25,000. All right, right there. So if, if I zoom out just a bit, it tells you uh, that after a while, this function, your money will grow very, very exponentially, very quickly but that's after a while. So if the question states, uh, how many years will it take for your investment to reach, let's say 25,000, I would say close to 30 years. And you can always verify this using um, algebra. You can, so remember the equation we had was y equals 5,000 times 1.06 to the x degree. 
So if I think it's 30, let's take x, which is 30, plug it in for x. So 5,000 times 1.06 to the 30th. And let's just put that in the calculator. Remember that exponents must be done before we compute uh, multiplication. So 1.06 to the 30th times 5,000. And when I do this, I end up with a value of close to 20, 28,717. So pretty close to um, 25,000. So my, I think uh, we can guess it's about 31 or 32. And later on in the chapter, I will show you exactly how uh, you can solve for the number of years it would take to to make this to make this twenty five thousand, okay? But for now, it's only an approximation. Uh, you can graph this. You can also zoom in. If I zoom in, better. You know, twenty five thousand is well. This is one twenty one twenty two. So twenty five is in the middle right there. So I think it's more like 30, and it's a little bit more than 30 years. All right. So I hope this makes sense. Um, remember, A stands for the initial amount, rate, and the years. All right. Let's look at uh, an exponential, an exponential equation, guys. Let's look at an exponential equation. So let's start with. Uh, let's see. Let's do, let's see, let's do, okay, here we go. So let's do four. So this is an exponential, exponential um, equation. It's an equation that has exponents, basically. That's what that means. All right, so we have four to the 5x plus 1. 5x plus 1 is equal to 64 to the 7th, okay? So both of these are the same expression. And the idea here, the goal here is to make that base be the same as that base. So right now I have a 4. This is 64. So you need to know your multiplication facts pretty well. So I'm going to change 64 to 4 to the 3rd. Why? Because 4 to the 3rd is 64. Don't forget, to the 7th equals 4 to the 5x plus 1. Also recall that when I have an exponent raised to another exponent, I can simply multiply those two when I get 4 to the 21st equals 4 to the 5x plus 1. Remember, they're both the same, but now at the, the base are also the same. So when the bases are the same, we can just say, oh, the exponents must be the same. And I can say 5x plus 1 equals 21 and solve for x. Minus 1 on both sides, 5x equals 20. Divide by 5 on both sides, x equals 4. So that would be your answer to this problem. To this problem here, this problem, this entire problem, x equals to 4. All right, if you need to rewatch this or pause it, go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you another another problem here that has fractions. And that one is uh, 1 half. So another example. 1 half to the 4x minus 16. 4x minus 16 is equal to 16 to the 2x minus 5. Okay, so same thing as before. You want to make these two bases the same, okay? So the number that I, I'm thinking of is 2. Let's change 16 so it has a base of 2. 
but without changing the value. So I'm going to do 2 to the 4th. 2 to the 4th is 16. Don't forget, to the 2x minus 5 is equal to. On this side, I have to choose the 2, but it has to be the same thing as 1 half. So 2 to the something is 1 half. Well, it's going to be negative 1. 2 to the negative 1 is a half. To the 4x minus 16. Okay, now that we have the 2s, let's take care of the exponents. These two exponents here. So I get 2 to the negative 4x plus 16 is equal to 2 to the 8x minus 20. Minus 20. So now that they're, they're both the same, I can just say, oh, and by the way, this is a 4 right here. So negative 4x plus 16 is equal to 8x minus 20. And we're going to solve this. We're going to solve this. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Oops. That's not what I want, guys. That's not what I wanted. Let's move this up a little bit. All right. So let's solve this. So we're going to combine like terms. Let's move the 4x to the right side. And let's move this negative 20 to the left side. So that's going to give me 16 is equal to 12x divided by 12. Divided by 12, x is equal to 3. So the answer here is x is equal to 3. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, so um, I think we're going to stop right here. And then I will make another video uh, a little later that goes over, um, it goes over how to compute interest when the interest is compounded many times a year. We call that it's compounded multiple times. It could be semi-annually, twice a year, quarterly, four times a year, monthly, 12, year, 12 times a year. But for now, we're going to stop here. Please let me know uh, if you have any questions.